Hey everybody, it's your boy Carlos here. And Joseph. And this is The, the Passenger, Passenger Seat. guys uh welcome back to the passenger seat uh today's topic is very uh special to us um it just came out recently and we both viewed it and uh we you know we both can say that it was really amazing especially for because of our culture and where we're from if we really resonated with the movie so we're talking about in, in the, the heights, heights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right um so I guess we should uh, start from like the beginning, beginning. Um, yeah. So uh, we're going to keep it to, we don't want to spoil anything from the movie because since it is new, of course. Uh, there's people who maybe haven't watched it and don't want mm -hmm. any spoilers. And that's perfectly understandable. We don't like spoilers. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, let's just do a little overview on what it's about. Uh, some facts, of course. And uh, yeah, uh, what it means to us as Puerto Ricans. Well, uh, okay. So the story is about a little, like a little block in uh, Washington Heights that's um, primarily Latino. Um, but the story actually revolves around one specific uh, Dominican character, and his name is Us Usnavi. Usnavi. <laughs> yeah, but you said Washington Heights, but don't forget where. Oh, you you talking about Upper Manhattan? Yep, Manhattan, New York. <laughs> can't forget can't, um, i mean yeah. you know you can say washington heights people from new york know right. people from yeah, the east coast fine. may know but you know <laughs> uh well yes this rolls around everybody every every character in there including the uh, primary character is navi uh they have a little sonito so it's like a dream everyone has a dream to become big and to get out of that little block um so that's basically what the story um is about and in musical form <laughs> All right, so uh, with uh, some of you who are familiar with his other work, um, this musical was, uh, you know, what, what would you say, co, co. Uh... He's the composer, though. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So uh, the composer for In the Heights is Lin Manuel Miranda, uh, whom you may know for, uh, you know, also working on Hamilton. You know, is the, is the brilliant mind behind Hamilton. Wow. We should hope that you know that. <laughs> right. If you've seen Hamilton, of course, which I'm assuming you are, because uh, Hamilton was a worldwide phenomenon. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, In the Heights is another one of, uh, at least, you know, the, the musical side of it is, is one of his other masterpieces. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, taking inspiration and story from a book from, of, of a female author what was her name? It was uh, Alegri. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no. Kiera. Kiara. Kiara. Alegria. Udes. Unge. Udes. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, a mouthful. Yeah. Anyway, she, <laughs> she wrote the book based on her experiences in Washington Heights. Um, after that, he took that novel and made it into a Broadway musical in 2008, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, which he was primary the protagonist as uh, usnavi um in this film that just came out he's not the protagonist anymore a page basically because he's just not young enough anymore but yeah <laughs> harsh yeah i'm sorry but he's good though he's yes uh so uh, uh, you know aside from the play the uh film is uh it was actually i think 2016 was more or less when they actually started to like work on the film mm -hmm. um they got anthony ramos on board which was uh the main character's now also in hamilton also in hamilton you might remember him as uh he would john he, lawrence lawrence and then he played uh his son philip oh ha hamilton's, hamilton's son, son philip. yeah that's yeah. true um, um so good guy good actor yeah no he did a really good job um you oh for people who might you know watch the show i watched it a little bit i haven't watched the whole thing he was also in that show nora um where he played he also played the puerto rican dude with the with the grill he was like his name was mars was that the one was that the one she's gotta have it 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. one. Which it was the uh, original Spike Lee movie that he made new again. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. The um, Mars. So the film, uh, you know, working on it since 2016. Anthony Ramos got on board in 2018, and the rest of the cast got on board for on 2019. And uh, it was supposed to come out in 2020, but it got pushed back, obviously, because of COVID. Oh, uh, because COVID. Fuck COVID. Uh, yeah, that's a bummer, but it did come out uh, worldwide claim. It's uh, amazing. Critics give it a 96 on Rotten Tomatoes. It really blew up, mm -hmm. honestly. It's, uh, a, again, uh, Lee Wan and Miranda knocks it out of the park. Of course. Honestly. Of course. I think anything that he works on is honestly just muse you know artistically it's amazing but you know in that musical sense it's because not only hamilton not not only in the heights and the other works he's done but you've also got uh he worked with uh dwayne the rock johnson and moana and moana he wrote the songs for moana that's true and everything he's done which is uh in the heights hamilton and moana he has grammys and two tonys yeah for all his work he never fails huge, ac <laughs> huge accolades huge accolades um well besides usnavi which is the primary character there's other characters along with the, the the notion of a dream and who interact with him in the movie uh his cousin sunny his best friend benny uh the love of his life veronica the love of benny's life nina uh the three salon ladies which i think was carla cool. daniela and kuka mm -hmm. and um and then after that you have the father of nina which was uh, Kevin Rosario. Kevin Rosario. Uh, and then you had uh, Abuela. Uh, la Abuelita Claudia. <laughs> Abuela Claudia. <laughs> the, best, the best part. Um, and uh, yeah, basically that's the primary cast, I think. What did so, you? What? Who did you say his love interest was? Veronica. Uh, Veronica. Vanessa. Vanessa. I heard yeah, it and I was Vanessa. like, mm, don't know sound You're right. right. Vanessa. Because right. I, I would remember the song, Vanessa, let me get the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yes, that was his love interest. Um, fun. Uh, a couple of stuff that's fun about the cast is we have a character called Piraguero, who in the film is played by Lin Manuel Miranda. Which. Luis Miranda portrays Usnavi in the original Blu-ray play. Now, there's a funny scene. This is the only thing that's kind of funny, and you guys must pay attention to. And this, hopefully, is not a spoiler, but he's going against this ice cream truck. This has nothing to do with the plot of the story, but he goes against the, this guy in the ice cream truck. And the guy in the ice cream truck is Christopher Jackson. Christopher Jackson was the actor of the original Benny, and he was also the actor of George Washington in, in Hamilton. Hamilton. Yep. That is very Which true. Which is a little, a little funny, funny something there. <laughs> right. It'll, it, you know, I was watching the movie and when I saw, you know, the guy who, who uh, is in the Mr. Softy truck, I was like, wait, isn't that, isn't that George Washington? And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah it is, it is. And, uh, yeah. you know, catch you by surprise. We're not going to spoil it, but there's a big, a, a huge surprise. Um in the movie that you really have to pay attention to i think you know if if obviously if you're puerto rican and you know about you know if you know about our music <laughs> damn it i don't have the flag with me um <laughs> if you know about our music it's gonna catch you super off guard you're gonna be like no way oh oh i know what you're talking about specific cameo yes yeah, specific cameo whoa that caught me off guard but uh going to our final segment we're going to talk about really what the film me meant for us when we watched it and uh i can honestly say that it, it really brings me back home uh especially because was, you know usnavi and the connection with him in the dominican republic and you know how he wants to go back um not being in puerto rico right now really makes me feel like i want to go back and then after seeing that movie it's just you understand like the culture of the movie and it hits you in a way that I think most people who are not Latino would not probably not feel that feeling that we feel. Right. <laughs> um, so, you know, obviously this is probably the first time I'm mentioning this to our viewers. Um, I'm actually half Puerto Rican and half Dominican. And uh, the story hits home on both ends, not just the Dominican, oh, yeah. not just because of the Dominican protagonist, but also because of the Puerto Rican uh, influences that are also in the movie. Um, 
and you know there's a lot of things that hit home not just the music which talks about things that you know we can you know relate to on a mm. on like like a complete one for one ratio uh you know exactitude like we relate to yeah, that yeah it's like very personal yes it's very personal and on top of that um for example one of my one of my uh one of the characters i really uh, felt that connection to was uh nina because mm. nina was supposed to be the pride of el barrio and you know that feeling right you know the, the feeling of like the, your family sees you as like wow you're the one who's gonna get out of here you're the one who's who's gonna go far and it, that's a lot of pressure on someone's uh, shoulders and you, you can definitely relate to her character um so you know that that part hit home for me uh like i said i was i was crying at certain points of the movie because i really felt oh yeah i really felt that connection with with what was going on and it doesn't matter if it's in washington because the you know the heart the soul of the movie is the same um mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess you know that's that's my piece on the movie. It's 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 an amazing movie. Uh, Lee Manuel it Miranda, truly is. Yeah, Lee Manuel Miranda did an amazing job. Uh, the movie was incredible. The Broadway play is incredible. Uh, music, casting, the movie did great, and I feel like it was a really good representation of Latin culture in the United States. Yep. And I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> well, uh, that is our time. We recommend that you go and watch In the Heights. Um, Definitely. If you don't watch it in the theater because of COVID, <laughs> Sabandera. Yeah, okay. Um, if you don't watch it in the theaters, it is on HBO Max. Just get yourself a subscription. Get together with your friends and family and watch the movie. Um, regardless if you're Latino, Hispanic, or not, or whatever, go watch the movie because um, it also opens the doors to people knowing about our culture. Um, and yeah. Yeah, definitely. If you're also from New York, you probably enjoyed a lot too. That's true. Uh, <laughs> nothing like a nothing like a good old bodega. Uh, <laughs> actually, we're I'm gonna slide this in here real quick. Carlos and I are planning something in the works uh, for visiting NYC, the Big Apple. Oh um, yeah. So yeah. expect that to come later this year. And uh, yeah. maybe we'll visit. <laughs> <laughs> huh, me... yeah, yeah, you know it washington <laughs> heights baby um but uh yeah uh make sure to like comment uh subscribe to the video um mm. it'll help our channel out a lot um comment down below what your thoughts on the movie what you know what your thoughts on the movie are if you've seen the movie um what you like best who was your favorite character or what was your favorite song and uh represent tell us where you're from yeah. Hey, where are you from? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today on the ride. Hopefully, you'll join us next time here in The, the Passenger, passenger seat. seat.